How's it going everybody? You're watching Denimal Tech. So it's 2019 and it is time for another installment of my series How to Remove a Forgotten Passcode of your iPhone. So if you've got an iPhone and you just forgot its passcode, you can't remember. There's no way you can remember and you can't access it. So it may be in a situation like that. iPhone is disabled, as you guys can see. So you cannot access it in any way. Or maybe uh, it is not disabled yet. It is normal, okay? But when you're going to put your passcode, you just can't remember the passcode. So it doesn't matter in which situation you are. I'm gonna show you how to do this with any and all iPhone models in any situation. So I'm gonna show you how to do this from the first iPhone until the iPhone XS Max, okay? So don't worry, I've got you covered, let's get started. Okay guys, so let's begin. As you can already see, you will need a computer to remove the forgotten passcode from your iPhone. But don't worry, it doesn't need to be a MacBook, it doesn't need to be a computer from Apple. You can do this with any computer because you just need to have iTunes. So if you have a Mac, uh, you, iTunes comes pre-installed, so you don't need to download anything. But if you have a Windows PC, like a Dell, an HP, or any computer like that, I'm gonna have a link in the description with uh, the download link to iTunes. So go there, download and install it, and you're good to go. Second thing, you're gonna need the iPhone cable because we're gonna need to connect the iPhone to the computer. It is very important that you use the original iPhone cable, the one that comes in the box. Because if you use like a third party cable, a cable that you bought that is not from Apple, this may not work. And now one last thing, this process will remove all of your iPhone's data. It will delete all of its data, wipe it clean. Uh, after this is done, it's gonna look like it's open out of the box, factory settings, everything is reset and zero. Okay, so this is very important, but if you have a backup, can be an iTunes backup or an iCloud backup, you can recover all of your information. So don't worry because you can recover absolutely everything. And if you don't have a backup, at least you got your iPhone back. Okay, so it's a win-win anyway. And of course, this process is intended to be used with your own device. If you forgot the passcode of your own iPhone, I'm not teaching you so you can do this with uh, an iPhone you found on the street or an iPhone that uh, you stole or something like that. Okay, this process is for your own device. So with all of that covered, let's begin. As I mentioned, I'm gonna show you how to do this on any and all iPhone models. So let's begin with the oldest ones and then we're gonna go all the way to the newest, okay? So here I've got an iPhone 6 and this process I'm gonna show you works with any iPhone from the first one until the iPhone 6s, okay? And how do you know if you have one of those first, one of those earliest iPhones? Because they have a physical button, okay? So if your iPhone has a physical button that goes in when you click, and it doesn't matter if it is, uh, the, the, it is turned on or it is turned off, it always clicks in. You feel it going inside the phone. That means that you have an older iPhone with a physical home button. For those iPhones, this is the process. So let's go ahead and plug it in. So using our original iPhone Apple cable and plug it into the computer as well. Very important, have iTunes opened, okay? As soon as you feel it charging, it is ready to go. It's very important that it charges. If it is not charging, this is not gonna work. Ignore any messages it shows on iTunes. So as you guys can see, it is showing a message right now, uh, right here. You've got a message saying, uh, it could not connect to the iPhone because it is locked with a passcode. Don't worry, ignore that message. And now let me show you the process itself. All you have to do is hold the home button, okay? And the power button at the same time. So one, two, three, hold both and keep holding. This, this screen turned black. And now we're seeing the Apple logo, keep holding. And now we've got to the restore mode screen. This is the restore mode screen. So the cable pointing to iTunes. And as you guys can see, now we can cancel that message. Let me zoom in a little bit. And it is telling me already that I, there is a problem with iPhone that requires it to be updated or restored. Okay, uh, now, before we go forward with this, 
let me show you with the other devices and I'm gonna go through the process itself with my iPhone 10, okay? Because it's the most updated and, I'm, and I wanna show you that it works until the latest iPhone models. Okay, now that we've got all iPhone models covered until the iPhone 6S, let me show you how to do this for the iPhone 7 because it has an exclusive method. Uh, one very important thing, when I say iPhone 6, 6S, 7 or 8, I'm also talking about the plus version. So I'm showing you so if I'm showing you the process for the iPhone 7, it works with this with the iPhone 7 plus because it's just a size different but the iPhone is exactly the same. So this is very important. So let's go. iPhone 7. I'm going to pretend this is an iPhone 7, okay, just to demonstrate to you guys. So what's the difference? It looks like an iPhone 6, but the button you have here, it is virtual. So when you click on it, when you tap it doesn't go in. If you have an iPhone 7, it doesn't go in. And when the screen, uh, when it is turned off, you click, there's nothing. There's nothing here. You don't have any feedback. It's just like a sheet of glass. Because in fact, there is no travel. Okay? So this is an iPhone 7 with a virtual button. And how is the process for the iPhone 7? It is very simple. Instead of going home button and power button, all you have to do is have it plugged. Okay? So same story. You're going to have it plugged in. You may see those those messages is exactly the same, but instead of uh, power and home, it's volume down and power. So you hold volume down and power, wait and wait and wait until you have the restore mode screen, and you get the pop up in iTunes. Okay, so instead of home power, volume down power. And now we're gonna talk about all the other models because from the iPhone 8 until the iPhone 10s, uh, it is the exact same process. So let's go ahead and plug it in. So I've got the vibration, meaning that uh, it is connected, okay? It is, it's got the vibration because when it is disabled, it is not gonna charge, but it's gonna give you the feedback with a little vibration, okay? And the process for 8 and 8 plus, 10, 10S and 10S Max is exactly the same. So volume up, volume down and hold power button. So as you guys just saw, volume up, release, volume down, release, power button and hold. Keep holding, keep holding until we get to that exact same recovery mode screen. So it's rebooting. And as you guys just saw, it doesn't matter if the iPhone is locked or is not locked, it works anyway, okay? so. Restore screen, so leave it to the side. And now we're gonna work on our computer. There is a problem, ta -da -da, ta -da -da. click restore, it's very important. If you click update, it's not gonna work. So restore and update, now that's your only option. And then we're gonna hit next. Because we're gonna download iOS 12.1.3. As you guys just saw, we're gonna start downloading the iOS version. And when we click here, we're gonna see uh, iPhone software update, that's the iOS, uh, 3.31 gigs. It's taking 12 minutes on my internet connection right now, but it could take several hours depending on how fast your internet is. So I'm gonna wait a little bit and after this is done, I'll be back. Okay, so we're almost done here, as you guys can see, 30 seconds to go. Uh, one very important piece of information. Sometimes in the middle of this download process, your iPhone comes back to life, okay? It quits itself from recovery mode, it comes back to life. All you have to do if this happens in the middle of the download is wait for the download to finish, and when the download has finished, you put it in recovery mode again, following uh, the process for your own device. So the download has finished, and now it is processing file. And now it is extracting software, as you guys can see, with this loading bar. Very important, throughout this whole process, leave your iPhone on the table, on the desk, okay? Don't play with it, don't try to remove the cable or anything like that, okay? The process is being done through the computer, let it do its thing. Of course, I've got it in my hand like that just to show it to you guys, but as I said, leave it on the desk, okay? So now iTunes has finished loading everything. So the last thing it's showing is verifying iPhone restore. And the process is gonna be finished here on your iPhone. And of course, as I mentioned, 
don't touch it okay don't don't play with it or anything and of course please do not unplug it until I say so okay okay now the screen is black and iTunes prompt you with a message saying your iPhone has been restored to factory settings just like I mentioned and uh, iTunes uh, in my iPhone it is just rebooting right now but still leave it plugged in And now we are good to go. Our iPhone has just booted up and as you guys can see it is that welcome screen that you get when you open it out of the box for the first time. Now all you have to do is go ahead and set it up. Okay, uh, normally